Dear Packmore family, we celebrate Thanksgiving this week. Our traditions have not changed in 30 years. Every employee receives a turkey and everyone receives two days of paid vacation. Our purpose is simple. We wanna say thank you to each of you for the contribution you made this year to the success of Packmore. I am personally quite grateful for the hard work and numerous sacrifices you made on behalf of Packmore. So again, thank you. You know, Thanksgiving is a unique time each year. In some ways, I believe it's the best holiday of the year. I see the caring, more gentle side of people during this week. We seem as a community to be more grateful and more mindful of the good things that have happened in our life. Last week, Melanie, who just started working for Packmore in Hammond on October 12th, was hit by a car riding her bicycle to work. After some time in the hospital, she was sent home, unable to work and unable to pay her bills. The good people in the Hammond plant raised almost $400 in food, gift cards, and rent for her. She returned to work this week. As I walked through the plants last week, I saw many of you who have worked for Packmore for many years. And just as Melanie felt the blessing of your hard work, I too have been blessed by many of you when things seemed at their worst. Many young people come and go at Packmore hunting for something I don't think they'll ever find in a job. Yet many of you have stayed committed to your Packmore family. In Hammond, I see people like Forrest and Jody and Phil and Debbie and Chris, Javier, Greg, Marsha, Juan, Jose, Terry, Ron, Lalo, Sergio, Victor, and on. You guys know. And in Mooresville, Kevin, Adam, Javier, Kaylee, Benita, Roger, Steve, and I could go on for a while telling you the names of the Packmore family that have stayed faithful. It's very hard for me to not get emotional as I think about how grateful I am as I picture each of you in my mind. This year at Packmore, we have much to give thanks. Many companies like ours have gone out of business. Many industries are suffering huge losses, forcing numerous people out of their lifelong careers. We've been very fortunate that our customers not only provided steady business, they also increased their orders in many cases. Had we not suffered such a major shortage of employees, we could have actually seen a strong year of growth. Many of you enjoyed the benefits of the PPP stimulus package both through the government checks, but also through bonuses we provided employees mid-year. We've also been blessed with numerous new teammates in almost every department. Our customers have provided not only more business, but new equipment for new lines to open. We're forecasting a really strong 2021 if we can develop and maintain a stable workforce. So please join me as we celebrate the good things God has provided this year at Packmore. And let's also give thanks for the change in many of our families. We have all spent far more time with our families than even before. And while some of it has been difficult, I hear numerous stories of people describing how they have come to love their family more deeply because of the extended time together. COVID has been very hard, yet in some ways has been a powerful force used by God to realign our values to things that truly matter. In closing, my greatest reason for being grateful comes from my faith in Jesus. Many Americans have decided they do not think Jesus is real or the idea of Jesus is just weird. Many people in our country believe God can be followed in whatever way they think works for them. And I know that feels good to think, but sadly, that's not what God tells us. God did make a way for everyone to know him. He sent his son named Jesus to demonstrate the love in his heart and his power to overcome death. The Bible is the story of Jesus recorded 2,000 years ago so we would know who God truly is and how to find him. I do believe in Jesus. I experience his power and his peace in my life every day. He is why I'm so grateful. He didn't need to die on my behalf, but he did. I'm praying your time, however long it may be at Patmore, will be enough for you to rethink where you stand with God. I had a dear friend die this year, along with several employees, and those deaths have hurt deeply. They remind me that I too will die. 
that certainty drives me to know the truth about God, heaven, hell, and Jesus. I pray it will challenge you as well. You know, I also see the evil in this world. 2020 has revealed how deep that evil resides in the hearts of every person. It also has shown that a simple virus can destroy humanity if left unchecked. Life is in fact very fragile and it's clearly not fair. This is not heaven and it's certainly not the home where God resides. So how can you find hope in a world that is so dark at times? For me, Jesus has provided that light. He truly brings incredible love, peace, and an ability to love others that I cannot live out on my own. I'm praying that each of you will take time this week to explore your own heart. I'm praying you will allow God room to help you see where you need his help and where he has already helped you. I'm praying you will see that God has cared for and blessed you maybe beyond what you realize. Patmore is a place where you can find Jesus. It is the one gift we continue to provide every single day through each other and through our life coaches. Thank you so much for all you have done for Patmore. I am very, very grateful. Much love and blessings for you and your family. Happy Thanksgiving.